want to execute SQL queries like this, but don't know how to get started. No worries, I have got you covered. In this video, I will guide you step by step on how to set up Oracle database on Windows. Hey everyone, welcome back to SCM Tutorials Hub. In today's video, I will show you how to download and install Oracle Database Express Edition in Windows. Then we will run some basic queries in SQL Plus and at the end, I will share a bonus tip to optimize Oracle services in Windows. So make sure to watch the video till the end. But before starting the video, if you are new on this channel, then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the latest updates. First, let's download the installer. Open any browser and search for Oracle Database XC Download. Click on the first link. Here you can see links for different platforms. I am using Windows 11 64 bit, so I am clicking on the first link. Then select the location and click on Save. So our download is complete. It's time for the installation. We have to extract the files first. You can use any software for this, but for Windows 11, you don't need any third party software. Just right click on the downloaded zip file and click on extract all and then click extract. After the extraction is complete, open the extracted folder and search for setup.exe. Double click on it to start the installation process. A dialog box will open. Here click on next. Then accept the terms and click on next again. Now it's your personal choice either you can install in default location or in a custom location. After selecting your preferred location, click on next. Now here you have to create a password. As it is written, this password will be used for the accounts, sys, system and pdb admin. Don't forget this password. Better if you write it somewhere, as this password will be used to access the database. Type your password twice in the two boxes and click on next and then click install. Now the installation process can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes depending on your system. So I will fast forward this part and jump directly to the end. Once the installation is done, you will see this page containing the Oracle database connection details. You may take a screenshot of this if you need this in future. Click on finish to close this page. Now that we have got Oracle installed, let's jump into SQL Plus and run a quick query. SQL Plus is a command line tool that comes with Oracle for running SQL queries. Let's open it up and connect to our database. Here in username, give system and for the password, it will be the one that you set during installation. Let's first create a table student containing two columns, name and role. After this, we can display the description of this table. Now let's insert some values into it. After this, we can display the contents of the table using select star from student. Now to save the changes, we have to use the command commit. 
Now the bonus tip to prevent Oracle from using unnecessary system resources when it's not in use you can stop the Oracle services from the Windows services menu go to start menu and search for services and open it here search for Oracle you can see these services are running open each of them and change the startup type to manual and then stop them Repeat the same for the other services also. Now whenever you need to use Oracle database, just start these three services. That's it for today. We have successfully installed Oracle Database Express Edition, ran some queries in SQL Plus, and learned how to manage Oracle services efficiently. I hope this video helped you out. And if you are looking to set up a SQL Developer for a more user-friendly way to manage Oracle Database, make sure to watch my next video. Once it's live, you will find it linked right here in the end screen cards for easy access. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to Scheme Tutorial Sub. Your support motivates me to create more content like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.